Uh, Terrence, you, you having to be such a high minute player, 35 minutes tonight at 40, not that long ago in Oklahoma City. Like, uh, how does that change how you got to approach and, and, and play a full game, uh, what, your, what your skill set and what you're asked to do? Um, I mean, I just, it, it's just longer duration of time that I'm out there, really. Um, it's nothing different in terms of my mentality. Uh, you know, I'm just out there trying to make winning plays. And that's what I was trying to do tonight. Terrence, do, do you feel like the uh, the old vet sometimes out there when you're with, like, the, the Keons and the Brandons? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just, just my leadership instincts take over when I'm out there with them because um, I was in their shoes at one point, so I know what they're thinking and what they're going through while they're out there. So uh, I just try to make them feel as comfortable as possible, and they did a great job tonight, even last game too. So, um, you know, kudos to them. Is that fun when, when you and the young guys kind of can, can fly around and kind of use your legs? Use your yeah, it's definitely fun basketball. It's exciting basketball, and that's always fun. Terrence, you've been with Amir the whole way through since you guys got to the Clippers. How have you seen him get more comfortable this season? Um, he's just growing. He's growing. He's uh, learning. Um, you know, he's been watching for a while, so, you know, he's, he's kind of learning from the side. And now you can see him applying it in the game, and it's working out real well for him. Terrence, it seemed like um, you guys expanded a lot of energy in, in that third quarter, come back and then taking the lead. Um, what changed for you guys? I know, I know, you know Amir mentioned the defense. What changed for you guys? And then what happened in that fourth quarter that kind of stalled for you guys? Um, I think we just, we got good looks and we didn't hit them and they were hitting their looks. Um, and then, you know, I was praying that it wasn't going to get to a close game because they got a great closer um, and we're missing our, you know, best closer. So, you know, it got to a close game. We still almost stole it, but I think, you know, we just didn't make our looks and they hit theirs for sure. But aside from not having your closer, like what, what else changes um, in a game like this rules wise for, for you, for Luke, for Nico, all the guys? Um. I mean, not much, you know. I think everybody's just still playing their game, how they play it. And um, we got a bunch of guys who are just out there trying to win. You know, they're not worried about their individual stats or anything like that. So I don't think much changes. I think, you know, they're just out there trying to make the right plays. Uh, when Amir was up here, he was talking about how defending Denver, because Yoke is such a high-level passer with their back cuts, it's almost like a cat and mouse game of trying yeah. to jump passing lanes. Like, is that rare to kind of deal with a big man that good as a passer to where it's so much harder to jump the lanes? Yeah, it's definitely rare. I mean, I don't think there's anyone else like him in the league right now that's playing like that and how hard it is to game plan for that. Like, you don't know what he's going to do because he's such an effective scorer too. So, you know, you kind of got to be ready to guard the ball and the cuts. And it's not easy, you know. We, you know, we had to deal with that in the bubble two years ago. So it's, just, it's not an easy task. Is it hard to get discouraged though when, or is it is it tough to stay encouraged when like you can jump a passing lane to get a steal, and then the next time you jump it and then it's a back cut? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely it can be a little disappointing, but that's part of the game, and you just gotta you know stick to the game plan as best you can. Hey, Terrence, um, how, how do you balance making the right play, as you mentioned earlier, and then being more aggressive with your shot? Uh, Coach just talked about how you could be more aggressive. What's your, what's your thoughts on that, and how do you make how do you balance that out? Um, it's not easy. It's not an easy thing for me, uh, you know, because I'm out there just playing off instinct a lot of the times. Um, so, yeah, I got to work on it and, you know, get comfortable with it.